All right, we're at uh, data table three, part C, uh, dependence of projectile range on the ang angle of projection. Uh, we're back at our fet.colorado.edu simulator uh, called projectile motion. And we're going to, let's uh, set, we don't want a pumpkin, we want a cannonball. Let's uh, do a cannonball. And let's lower this to zero. Now, if you notice the lowest we can go is 25 degrees. The data table three starts us at 20 degrees and it uh, goes 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70. Since we start at 25 and we want complementary angles, we're gonna make it 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, uh, 60 and 65. Uh, those, are, those are what we're gonna, uh, use and we're going to come up probably with exact ranges um but uh, uh we're using the same velocity that we used the last time we've got a cannonball here um and uh, the, the target is you can just make this a game it doesn't play any part in this and don't ask me what the statue of it looks like david uh the statue of david the famous statue of david with a, a little um, wearing shorts. Anyway, let's go ahead and fire this. And uh, there's the trajectory. And let's let's measure this. Uh, let's put it right over the crosshairs. Uh, Twenty five. And I'm gonna put down. 17, you know, first of all, I'm gonna change that 20 degrees to 25 degrees since that's the lowest we can go. And I'm gonna, uh, the measurement says 17.56 meters. Now I'm gonna raise it to uh, 30 and fire. And oh, okay, it's a little bit further. Uh, let's take this and move it to the uh, spot. And it's 19.93, 19.93 meters. All right, let's uh, uh, put it at 40 and fire. All right, now let's take our measuring device and put it there on on the point 22.58 22.58 meters and let's go 45 and fire all right and if we measure that Twenty two point nine nine twenty two point nine nine meters is what I've got. Uh, and, um, let's uh, now as we 45 is its own complement. So now as we continue uh, and go to 50, which is the next one, it should be at the same uh, distance is 40 because 40 and 50 equals 90. So 50 is the complement to 40 degrees. It's, it should be the same as 40 degrees. And there we go. And if we measure, I'll try to, I'm not looking at the, I get 22.59. And make this 60 and fire and I'm 22.59 at 60 is 19.90 and let's go to 65 and fire 
No, the, some of the ones are disappearing. Some of the previous, and let's move this over there. And I get 17.57, 17.57 meters. And uh, all right, that's that's good data. Now let's let's go ahead and reset and uh, just more stuff that you can play with. Let's put this over it. Oh, let, let's make it 30 degrees. And, and you can, um, we didn't put any air, air resistance. Let's go back to Cannonball. Uh, we didn't put any air resistance. That would certainly play a, uh, a role, but we, we just ignored it for this. But one of the things you can do is you can look at the, the uh, total velocity vectors. Um, and there's, that's the total velocity. Um, now let's look at the components of the velocity. Let's take that one off and look at the, comp oops, uh, I did the wrong one. Um, and what did we have that? I think we had it at 30. Let's look at the components of velocity. And I'm hitting the wrong one again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's go to 30 and components. I want to hit the fire, not the reset. And you can see, let's play that one again. Look at the, look at the vertical velocity. The, the horizontal velocity is the same throughout. And we know that because there's no acceleration on the uh, horizontal velocity. Let's watch the vertical velocity. It's going to go up and then it's going to come down. Um, it, it, there it, it, goes up, goes to zero, and then comes down. You can also look at the uh, uh, acceleration. There's the total acceleration if you fire it. Oh, the acceleration never changes. Why? Because there's no, uh, the only acceleration is the gravitational acceleration. There is no acceleration in the, uh, uh, in the X direction. And so if we look at the components, it's gonna look, at the, look the same. Um, so let's fire it. And there, there I think it, it uh, actually I had the total, but it shouldn't look any different because the only acceleration is the gravitational acceleration, which is acceleration in the y direction. So those are some things that you can play with on this, uh, on this little uh, uh, simulation. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's good uh, for this.